Today we're going to take this photo and give it a beautiful blurred background. Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. Today we'll be learning how to blur backgrounds. If you want to follow along with me, I've included a download link in the description for the photo I'm using. The first thing we need to do is select the person in the photo. We can do this by using our selection brush tool. So come to the left side and click on this brush. And now you can begin painting a selection over the person. So just click and drag and begin selecting her. If you ever select too much, you can hold down Option and then paint to get rid of whatever you selected. So take a minute and do your best to get a rough selection of her. And don't worry if it's perfect, we'll fix it in a minute. We now have the girl selected, but we want to blur the background, not the girl. So we need to invert our pixel selection. We can do this by pressing Command Shift I, I for invert. And now our selection has been inverted and we have all of the background selected. We are now going to blur the background. We can do this by coming to the top to layer, new live filter layer, and then lens blur filter. Once you have this dialog box, increase the radius to about 40 pixels. This will give a nice blur to our background. Once you have that applied, just press X. And now press Command D, D for deselect, to make the marching ants go away. We have successfully blurred the background, but our edges are now opaque. So we're going to crop our image to get rid of the opaque edges. Press C, C for crop, and then bring in the edges slightly. Once you have the edges brought in, press return. Now we've cropped our image and all of the edges look very nice. We're now going to clean up the edges along our person. We're going to do this by first selecting our mask, this black and white icon, and then pressing B, B for brush. Now anything we paint in black will become unblurred and anything we paint in white will become blurred. So up here you can see I'm painting in black, but if I switch it to white, now anything I paint will become blurred and I can smooth out the lines along her legs. I would recommend taking the hardness down to 0%. That way, when we paint, it will be nice and smooth and not have jagged edges. So take a minute and paint along the edges of this girl until you have nice smooth edges. Remember that you can zoom in and out of your photo by pressing Command plus or Command minus, and you can change the size of your paintbrush by pressing the bracket keys underneath the equal sign on your keyboard. You can also switch between black and white by pressing the letter X on your keyboard. Our photo is really starting to look good. The next thing we're going to do is keep the top of her in focus, but then transition to the bottom part of her being out of focus. So make sure that you're painting with white and then we're going to paint the bottom of her feet so they are completely out of focus. To give the transition, we're going to take the flow down to 20%. Having our flow at 20% makes it so each stroke only applies 20% of the paint. So I just did 20% right there with that one stroke and now 40%, 60%, 80%, 100%. This allows us to give a nice subtle transition by slowly painting in the blur as we go up her leg. 
So down at the bottom, still keep it pretty blurred. But then up here, maybe only give a couple of strokes and then a little bit less, and then maybe only one stroke. This gives a nice subtle transition from being completely out of focus to a little bit blurred to all the way in focus. The last thing we're going to do is give our photo some nice lighting. To do this, come to the top to Layer, New Live Filter Layer, Lighting Filter. Now we have this small spotlight that we can drag around our picture. If we zoom out, we'll be able to more accurately place it. I like to put mine over in the top right corner and then change the specular color from white to a light orange. You can mess around with the lighting to make it look however you want. I think I'm going to make mine come in a little bit closer and then we will angle it a little bit differently. I think I'll bring the ambient up a little bit so it's not so dark. All right, and when you're satisfied with how your photo looks, you can press X and then Command-0 brings us back into our photo. And with that, we are done. Enjoy your beautiful new photo. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you want to see more tutorials on Affinity Photo, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We come out with new videos all the time. So hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.